Hey guys, my name is Bridget and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! So I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for the longest time, but I've been procrastinating. And even now, I'm very nervous. But thanks to the woman behind the camera, yeah. this is finally happening today. Ka this video, or your first video, we're trying to calm you down and just just make the video. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just starting your channel, okay? So tell us about who is Bridget? What is Bridget like? Uh, like what brought you on YouTube? Well, like what brought you on YouTube? People come to YouTube for a lot of reasons. Some they want to share about themselves. What brought you to YouTube? Okay. So first, let me tackle the first question. What is? What are you all about? What is Bridget all about? So I am a fashion enthusiast. I love all things beautiful. I'm a fashion enthusiast. I'm a liker of things. I love all things beautiful. Yes, you always look beautiful. Thank you. And I'm a trained and certified image consultant. In a nutshell, that's what I'm all about. So with this YouTube channel, I plan to be a bit more personal than my Instagram. Yeah. So here I'm planning to be sh posting videos about fashion, beauty, style, fitness. I'm here to have some fun, create a visual diary to share with the world and probably my future generations. Cheers to the journey. Cheers. Ching, ching, ching. Cheers. <laughs> you know what? I'm very excited about this new venture. Yeah. Let's see um, where it will take me. I think I'm going to love it. I think I'm going to love watching you on YouTube. I think there's so much that people can learn from you. I mean, you're a fashion, and you're a fashion person. You always look beautiful every time I see you. I mean, like, how do you do it? Like, how do you do it? Oh, you well, thank you for saying that. Well, to answer your question, I don't know. I think it's just in me. Yeah. I enjoy. I enjoy dressing up. I enjoy putting outfits together, either for myself or for other people. And today, what are we today? What are we gonna do? What well, What are we sharing today? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my five fashion pet peeves. So, number one, wearing the wrong shoes. What do you mean wearing the wrong shoes? Yes. <laughs> shoes are shoes. <laughs> nope, nope, no. Yeah. Different shoes give a different look or attitude to an outfit. Right? So let's do a visual exercise for a start. A visual exercise for a start. So so picture a woman wearing a pair of jeans mm -hmm. and a t shirt. Right? In your mind, put a pair of sneakers to that look. Well, it's dressed down, yeah. Yes, right. And you can still look cool while you're dressed down. Yes. Now remove that pair of shoes. Let's repair. Let's replace it with a pair of heels. What do you have? Like it's elevated. Yes. Yeah. Now remove it and put a pair of slippers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you see where I'm going with this, yeah. right? So, the kind of shoes that you pick for your outfit, right? It has the power to elevate your outfit or it can downgrade your outfit. So you need to be very aware of the look that you are going for. So a lot of people, they tend to think that what happens from the ankles down is disconnected from what is happening on their entire outfits, which is wrong. Right. And then we move on to number two, not accessorizing. Now, this is a big one for me. So, for those who know me, you know I love accessories. I love to accessorize on my outfits. And I see accessories, you know, things like your jewelry, your handbags, your bangles, and anything that you add on top of your outfit. Right? Those things have the power to make or break your outfit. You may be wearing a beautiful dress, a beautiful pair of shoes, and your hair is nicely done but without accessories that look it's it's unfinished that look is too plain and it looks unfinished so number three not honoring your shape so i believe that all women 
are beautifully designed. We are all unique, but each and every one of us is beautiful in our own unique way. So we need to take consideration of our shapes when we are dressing up. So the fact that clothes don't look good on you is not your body's fault. I need you to understand this part. The fact that clothes do not look good on you, it's not your body's fault. Don't blame your body for the clothes that don't fit. But instead, look at the clothes that you're trying to put on. In most cases, you're trying to put on clothes that don't fit your body shape. Okay, let me give you a, a common example. Right, A lot of women try to put on oversized clothing. A lot of women put on oversized clothing as a way of hiding their bodies. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't work. What that does is it actually makes your body appear even bigger. Then we move on to number four, right? not taking care of your clothing. So this is when people don't polish their shoes. You've got clothes that need to go to the dry cleaners. So someone might put clothes in a washing machine, clothes that are meant to go to the dry cleaners. Your clothes might have rips that can be easily repaired or stitched but then you just leave it and put it on like this like but you just leave it not cleaning your shoes be it heels or sneakers not repairing shoes or heels that need to be rehealed not removing lint or pet hairs from clothes last but not least visible panty lines and bra straps your underwear has the power to make or break your outfit you might be wearing a very expensive dress or a good looking outfit but the moment you put the wrong bra the wrong bra color or the moment we see the visible straps that outfit has been completely degraded it takes away from the look you want to hide the bra straps and you want to wear the seamless panties so that your panty lines will not show so there you have it those are my five fashion mistakes to avoid so guys that was my first youtube video i do hope i enjoy my stay on these youtube streets and I do hope you guys you join me along as I create more videos. Until the next one. Bye-bye. Cheers, cheers. Emma, this is not easy.